Artificial intelligence is getting stronger and cooler every single day. It feels like we're always hearing about some new AI breakthrough, and each one is more amazing than the last. Have you ever seen pictures come to life, like magic? Well, I've got something even more incredible to share with you today. This new tool I found? It's on a whole new level compared to anything else out there for turning images into videos. So, let's not wait any longer. Let's jump right in. This is Devid and you are watching AI Lockup. Multinational tech giant Alibaba recently introduced its new Audio 2 video diffusion model Emo, Emote Portrait Alive. That can generate expressive portrait videos with the Audio 2 video diffusion model under weak conditions. With its ability to infuse any still image with voice and motion with emotion, Emo is setting a new standard for digital animation. Look at this video. When I was a kid, I feel like you heard the thing, you heard the term, don't cry. Yes, this video was created with Emo AI from this image. You have to just input a single reference image and the vocal audio, which could be talking, speaking, or singing. Emo will generate vocal avatar videos with expressive facial expressions and various head poses. Meanwhile, it can generate videos with any duration depending on the length of the input video. Now let's take a look at some examples. Make portrait sing. Input a single character image and a vocal audio, such as singing, and Emo will make your portrait singing. This one is the character of the AI Mona Lisa generated by DreamShaper XL, and the vocal source is Miley Cyrus, Flowers. Covered by YUQI. We were right, till we were this one is a portrait generated by OpenAI Sora, with Dua Lipa Don't Start Now song. Let's have a look. Not only in English language and realistic portraits, Emo supports songs in various languages and brings diverse portrait styles to life. It intuitively recognizes tonal variations in the audio, enabling the generation of dynamic, expression-rich avatars. This is an AI girl generated by Chill Out Mix with David Tao, Melody. Covered by Ning Ning, Mandarin. The AI Emer from Any Laura with a Japanese song The Final Season. Next, Leslie Chung Kwok Wing with Eason Chan Unconditional. Covered by AI. AI Girl generated by Wildcard XXL Fusion with a Korean song Jenny. Not only a melodious song but also the driven avatar can keep up with fast-paced rhythms, guaranteeing that even the swiftest lyrics are synchronized with expressive and dynamic character animations. Here Leonardo Wilhelm DiCaprio is singing Eminem Godzilla. An AA with an AK melee finna set it like a playdate but a vacate retreat like a vacate And here Kuan Kuan singing Eminem Rap God how are they? Let me know in the comments section. Now look at some talking with different characters. Emo's approach is not limited to processing audio inputs from singing, it can also accommodate spoken audio in various languages. Additionally, this method has the capability to animate portraits from bygone eras, paintings, and both 3D models and AI-generated content, infusing them with lifelike motion and realism. Audrey Kathleen Hepburn Rustin lip synced with an interview clip. When I was a kid, I feel like you heard the thing, you heard the term, don't cry. You don't need to cry. Crying is the most beautiful thing you can do. I encourage people to cry. I cry all the time. And I think it's the most healthy expression of how you're feeling. And I, I sometimes wish I just could have been told, you can cry. There's no shame in that. There's no shame in how you're feeling. And also, you don't need to always be justifying it. Because I think I was constantly trying to come up with reasons why, rather than just... Look at the face in micro expression. It looks damn realistic. And this is an AI-generated model with the same audio clip. When I was a kid, I feel like you heard the thing, you heard the term, don't cry. You don't need to cry. Crying is the most beautiful thing you can do. I encourage people to cry. I cry all the time. And I think it's the most 
healthy expression of how you're feeling and I I sometimes wish and now the real Mona Lisa with Shakespeare's monologue too as you like it <clears throat> yes one and this man he was to imagine me his love his mistress and I set him every day to rule me at which time would I being but a miniature youth good different changeable longing and liking proud fantastical impish shallow now let's talk about another interesting feature cross-actor performance. The cross-actor performance enables the portraits of movie characters to deliver monologues or performances in different languages and styles. It can expand the possibilities of character portrayal in multilingual and multicultural contexts. This is a dialogue from the 2008 film The Dark Knight with the Joker from the 2019 film Joker. You wanna know how I got these scars? My father was a drinker and a fiend and one night he goes off crazier than usual mommy gets the kitchen knife to defend herself he doesn't like that not one bit so me watching he takes the knife to her laughing while he does it he turns to me and he says why so serious? And this is Samwen Zhang talking about online courses for legal exams. I've never seen a bag of peanuts in my life. I took a bag of peanuts to the store and took a bag of peanuts. Everyone thought it was a joke. You've never seen a bag of peanuts before. You can steal peanuts. And this is an AI girl. You have done nothing but tell me how bored you were. I was the chore, the job you did. All right, now let's talk about some technical aspects and how it works. According to the research paper, the EMO framework is mainly constituted with two stages. In the initial stage, termed frames encoding, the reference net is deployed to extract features from the reference image in motion frames. Subsequently, during the diffusion process stage, a pre-trained audio encoder processes the audio embedding. The facial region mask is integrated with multi-frame noise to govern the generation of facial imagery. This is followed by the employment of the backbone network to facilitate the denoising operation. Within the backbone network, two forms of attention mechanisms are applied, reference attention and audio attention. These mechanisms are essential for preserving the character's identity and modulating the character's movements, respectively. Additionally, temporal modules are utilized to manipulate the temporal dimension and adjust the velocity of motion. If you want to know more about the technical aspect, you can read the full research paper from AR14. Here you will find the full method of work, training strategies, experiments, and limitations. Yes, like other tools Emo has some limitations. Such as, it is more time-consuming compared to methods that do not rely on diffusion models, and it may result in the inadvertent generation of other body parts, such as hands, leading to artifacts in the video. Okay, now let's talk about how you can access this tool. The answer is, at this moment it's under training period and only available to some core members of Beta Tester. According to the source, this audio-to-video diffusion model will be accessible to all within this year. Once it is live, we will make a video on it. Alright friends, I will wrap up our video now. Before that, I would love to hear your opinion about the Alibaba Audio 2 Video Generator model. Share your thoughts and results in the comments section below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tutorials like this one. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, happy creating!